All right, Ashley, thank you. Some professional athletes and coaches are teaming up to help kids and families impacted by the pandemic, and they're asking for some help. Hey, it's Nick Foles with the Chicago Bears. My name is Alyssa Nair, the goalkeeper for the U.S. Women's National Team. Some stadiums are sitting empty. Every stadium is sitting empty right now. So the cause they're all standing behind is called Fill the Stadium, and the hope is to raise enough money to support 70,000 children and families who need urgent help all around the world. This week, I talked to one of the athletes involved, Chicago White Sox outfielder Adam Engel. Adam, thank you so much for talking to us. This is such an important thing that you all are doing. First of all, tell us about Fill the Stadium. Where did this idea come from? So um, Fill the Stadium is a um, initiative that is run through Compassion International, which is a, um, a company that is trying to, um, their mission statement is to try and help as many kids in poverty break free from poverty um, you know, across the, the entire world. So it's not just nationwide, but it's it's worldwide as well. So they do a really good job of, of being able to reach, you know, tens of thousands of kids on a yearly basis. And the idea, Adam, correct me if I'm wrong, is that we're not going to sporting events right now. So the mm -hmm. hope is that if you would normally be going to a White Sox game, you'd be taking your family, maybe a couple of friends to the game, whatever it is that you would normally be spending on that experience, if you're able to think about contributing to fill the stadium? Yeah, absolutely. That's that's exactly the goal. So um, since we're not going to sport events like you had mentioned, um, I think the average amount that is spent on a four, four people to go to a professional sporting event, once you take into account like tickets, parking, programs, um, you know, concessions, it's around $500 trip to a, you know, professional sporting event. So that $500 will cover the needs for one kid for an entire year. What is the goal? The goal is to you know, each seat represents a child in need. And so we're trying to raise enough money for 70,000 kids to get um, one year's worth of support. It's gonna be things like um, food and supplements and um, different types of, you know, COVID care. So just things of that nature that um, they would normally be, be able to get and um, they're not gonna get this year. So we're trying to, you know, find a way to get get that amount of support to 70,000 different kids. So 70,000 seats essentially is the goal. Where are you all on reaching that goal? So we're just under 17,000 right now. I think the number is closer like 16 and like 800 and some change. So we're not quite all the way there yet. We've got a really good start. Um, so like I said, we're just doing the best we can to to get this um, information out there. Adam, like so many other aspects of daily life, the pandemic has also impacted sports and we've all been witness to that. What has the experience been like for you as a pro athlete? We felt a, a push, especially towards the beginning of the season to, to try and get you know, games on TV so, so people could have a little bit of an escape, but it's still not having fans in the stands is, is really hard for us. You know, as athletes, we, we, we kind of thrive in those moments and, um, you know, we miss like crazy our fans. So um, it's obviously we're still playing baseball, but it's just not quite the same without people there. What advice do you have so, to some of those kids who are not able to play sports right now and not able to go out on the field and be with their teammates because of the pandemic? What would you tell them uh, thinking about you at that age? If there's kids out there that are, aren't able to play sports like they typically do. Um, you know, I would I would encourage them to um, do two things. One, find a hobby that you can do during these times and, and enjoy yourself and um, don't get too bored, you know, and the other one is um, find some things to do inside or get creative outside with things that you can do with, you know, without necessarily having a full team gathering. Adam, it's great to talk to you. Thanks so much for what you're doing and we appreciate your time. Thank you so much for having me on and giving us this opportunity to spread some awareness. Really yep. appreciate it. Of course. Thank you. And $500, that provides a year's worth of food, nutritional supplements, hygiene essentials, and COVID-19 medical screenings for a child and their family in crisis, a year's worth. So if you'd like to learn more about Fill the Stadium and how you can help out, you can go to fillthestadium.com. We're also posting a link on newsnationnow.com.